हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज प्रोफेसर अशोक कुमार आई एम वर्किंग इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर चैप्टर एंड दैट इज बोइलर माउंटेन्स डियर स्टूडेंट इफ यू हैव सीन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर इन विच स्पेशली आई हैव कवर्ड एन इंट्रोडक्शन एंड बेजिक डिटेल ऑफ स्टीम बोइलर I have also classified the boiler, and at the end of that video lecture, uh, we have also discussed about few important types of steam boiler too. Uh, now it's time to have the discussion on various fittings. That means uh, some instrument and devices is, which are specially mounted on outer surface of boiler. Uh, if someone want to categorize that all fittings. then it have the two categories either such a instrument may be uh, uh, known as a boiler mountings or we can say that it will be or it will be generally known as a boiler accessories uh, well uh, out of that fittings or we can say that the devices is which are necessarily mounted on boiler and it is mandatory for the safety operation of boiler is generally known as boiler mountings that means if you are looking for boiler and uh, few devices is are there which should be compulsory for the safe operation of any boiler we, it definitely comes under boiler mountings so look at the diagram uh, there is a one locomotive boiler and over which there are numbers of such type of devices is are used Uh, like steam boiler a steam stop valve safety valve is there pressure gauge is also there water level indicator is there uh, fire door is there so ultimately we can say that all those uh, devices is or we can say that the instrument are compulsory uh, or we can say that the mandatory for the safe operation of any um, a steam boiler so this will be term as a boiler mountings suppose uh, there is a boiler and uh, there is uh, without uh, any kind of a pressure gauge or measuring instrument if a boiler is uh, working there or are in operations then it may possible that the boiler get explosion so without such kind of uh, the devices your boiler can not work properly in particularly for the safety purpose of you and of course an indian boiler regulation committee uh, and uh, agency of government of india has strictly given the guideline without uh, any kind of such mountings you are not able to operate or run the boiler so this is what about boiler mountings Uh, now we are going to discuss in detail various types of boiler mountings which are used in steam boiler and first kind of the mountings that is the pressure gauge uh, basic function of pressure gauge is to measure the steam pressure which is produced inside the boiler now uh, if we are looking about the constructional detail of uh, pressure gauge then there is a look at the bottom side there is u shaped siphon tube is there and uh, one end of the tube is directly connected with a steam space provided in boiler cell or we can say that boiler drum whereas other end is directly connected with a pipe which is provided for test gauge connection and uh, simultaneously in that way there is a burden tube look at the middle portion there is a burden tube one end of that burden tube is directly connected with test gauge connection whereas other end is connected with a special shaped or designed gear rack or quadrant uh, once again uh, this rack or quadrant is connected with central gear and that gear is generally known as pinion and the pinion is centrally mounted on a spindle so at the top of the spindle uh, a pointer is get connected now uh, enter this assembly or we can say that mechanism is enclosed in a closed body say that the dial body of pressure gauge and top or the front of the that body there is a glass cover and exactly below that glass cover there is a dial circular dial on which uh, graduated units are uh, given in uh, on the that particular dial which gives the pressure unit so this is what an uh, constructional detail of pressure gauge uh, Uh, now uh, if we are specially uh, talking about uh, the burden tube uh, which is mounted centrally 
in uh, body then burden tube is having an elastic nature uh, that means uh, if you are applying pressure or force on it it will uh, gain some uh, shape according to whatever uh, you have applied uh, pressure or force magnitude but after removing that <coughs> force or pressure burden tube uh, because of its elastic nature or property it will regain its original shape and size second and most important thing is that the cross section of a burden tube here in given is an ellipt elliptical in shape so whenever uh, the steam or uh, the pressure due to steam uh, affect this internal cross sectional that is an elliptical it will try to become circular from an elliptical so this is what about the contractional assembly of a pressure gauge now look at the working uh, uh, there is a cut out cock near by boiler cell it will be open first test connection test gauge connection is also open and there is open circuit between steam space to directly burden tube so uh, whenever uh, the this cut out cock is open high pressure steam will be directly flow inside the u shaped siphon tube from u shaped siphon tube it will be directly move or reach to this burden tubes uh, through a test gauge connection pipe so as i uh, said earlier uh, uh, due to high pressure of steam the cross section of uh, the burden tube having an elastical in uh, section so due to high pressure it will try to become uh, from a circular section and uh, uh, other end of this burden tube is directly connected with this type of quadrant here so uh, it will other end of that burden tube will pull the quadrant here in which is connected with uh, the burden tube end so ultimately this uh, quadrant will move in either direction like that either upward or in downward direction so uh, if you are looking assembly uh, then this quadrant is directly connected or we can say that in pair with circular gear or we can say that in pair with pinion so due to movement in either direction uh, of quadrant pinion get rotated in clockwise or anti clockwise direction now we know that uh, the pinion is directly coupled with spindle and spindle is connected with pointers so pointer move in either direction that means it indicates some pressure value so this is what how the uh, any pressure gauge is working there now uh, below right hand side uh, you may easily see from the uh, uh, diagram uh, there is a one rack is provided here in there is a burden tube uh, this is the tube section that is uh, an elastic this is uh, outer dial uh, there is a test gauge connection is there there is a central spindle gear that means uh, we can say that that is the pinion so this is what about a pressure gauge then uh, after uh, we are coming across very much important second type of a boiler mountings and that is water level indicator actually it names gives the function of uh, this type of instrument it simple indicates water present inside or we can say that the water level present inside boiler cell this is so function so called uh, water level indicator now look at the diagram first we will discuss one contractional detail actually there are four tubes used in case of uh, water level indicator out of which there are two larger diameter horizontal tubes uh, uh, each one of each uh, mounted on either side of uh, the steam or as well as water uh, side we can say that uh, if uh, the top horizontal surface look at the diagram a uh, top horizontal surface is directly mounted on boiler cell uh, and especially in case of a steam space whereas a bottom level or horizontal bottom side horizontal tubes is directly mounted on water space so generally we can say that this is uh, the steam uh, horizontal tube this is horizontal water tube now uh, uh, both of this uh, horizontal tube top and bottom or we can say that the steam as well as water side uh, there is a one valve contains each tubes 
the valve which is uh, contained by steam tube is generally known as a steam coke or steam valve whereas uh, the valve which uh, contains by the water tube that is known as a water coke. Now uh, along with this there are two vertical tubes are also mounted nearby uh, uh, these uh, two horizontal tubes. One is made from the metal that is why the name given metallic tube and other is uh, made from the hard fiber glass or simple glass that is why it is known as a hard glass tube. Uh, uh, one may also see that there are two steel bowl is used. One is at uh, uh, steam horizontal tube, one is at uh, water horizontal tubes. In normal condition, all that, uh, all both of these uh, steel balls are sit over their valve seat. That means over here and over here. So there is an open channel between steam, which pass through steam pipe and ultimately reach to hard glass tube whereas uh, the same kind you will um, find in case of uh, the water side water will flow from water tubes water tubes to hard glass tube now uh, uh, this is what uh, i have discussed about uh, the constructional detail now look at the working principle uh, suppose you require to have the measurement of water level which is uh, present inside the boiler cell then first of all you require to open a steam valve and water valve respectively. So ultimately what happens here in there is an open circuit between steam and a glass tube between water and glass tube. So high pressure of steam will move in horizontal tubes and reach to glass metal tube whereas uh, water from the horizontal water tube also will move and reach to the hard glass tube. Uh, this is what uh, the uh, uh, flow circuit of steam as well as water. Now glass is generally transparent in nature, so one can easily find the level of uh, the water which is present inside the glass tube and this is the parallel to that of the water present inside the uh, water uh, or we can say that the boiler cell. So this is what the working uh, circuit or we can say that the working principle of water level indicator. Now uh, one may have the question that. Uh, if we are not using in, in normal case the metallic tube then why is it provided there? Well uh, the best answer is that uh, we know that the glass tubes is uh, brittle in nature but advantage is that it is transparent. So boiler operator can easily uh, see the level of uh, water present inside the boiler cell. Uh, due to some region uh, it, it may possible that, that due to high pressure, uh, due to high flow of steam and water. Uh, this brittle glass material will be broken out. So what happens, The whatever the persons or boiler operator working nearby boiler will get exposed uh, directly from this uh, steam and as well as water. So it may cause an accident. So in order to prevent that ultimately uh, whenever this happens that means whenever glass uh, tubes broken out at that time uh, one way to solve this. Uh, problem is that uh, the path of steam and water should be uh, cut off uh, in this section. So in order to cut or stop the flow of steam and water whenever uh, hard glass tube is broken away uh, at that time we are using metallic tube. Uh, suppose uh, there is a uh, uh, glass tube is broken away so what happens uh, there is a large pressure difference between uh, outside of this glass tube and inside of this steam space or we can say that inside of the steam tube there is also there is a large pressure difference between outside of that uh, hard glass tube and inside of that water tubes. So due to that huge pressure difference uh, uh, this steel ball uh, not remain sit for longer period there. It will fly off and reach over the ball stopper over here. So that means it stop the further flow of steam uh, which is going for the uh, going inside the hard glass tube and it also stop uh, the flow of water which is going in hard glass tube. So ultimately now uh, there is a new flow circuit and this flow circuit will be from steam pipe to the metallic tube and from water tube to metallic tube. So in order uh, we can prevent the flow whenever uh, the, there is a, a breaking of any kind of uh, hard glass tube and ultimately in that way 
we can save the boiler operator or the person working nearby it. A uh, right hand side diagram shows the actual uh, water level indicator which is look at the diagram which is mounted on boiler cell. Uh, uh, this is uh, we can say that the steam uh, horizontal pipe, this is uh, water horizontal pipe which is exactly mounted on the steam space as well as water space. Uh, you will also find two wall is also there one and two that means both of the wall is a steam as well as water wall. Along with this. Uh, 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 hard glass tube uh, nearby it you exactly see there is a also metal tube. So, this is what the actual comparison of uh, the water level indicator with the diagram. Now, th third kind of the uh, boiler mountings that uh, we are going to discuss there is the steam stop valve. The basic function of steam stop valve is to regulate the quantity or we can say that the amount of uh, steam flow to the turbine. Uh, that means, uh, suppose you require much amount of steam for more power generation, then you have to uh, operate steam stop valve and uh, if you require less amount of steam for the less power generation, <coughs> you can control the flow of, of by using steam stop valve. Uh, now, look at the diagram clearly. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a body that is the main part of any steam stop valve and body contains wall, uh, wall seat, uh, spindle uh, as well as flange. Now, uh, look at the bottom uh, portion of the uh, wall or steam stop wall body. There is a flange given. So, in that particular flange is there are numbers of nut bolt are arranged and which is directly fitted on outer surface of steam space of boiler. So, this one if the steam uh, boiler cell and this will be the steam space then this wall will be directly coupled on the top surface of steam space to the boiler cell. Now, in body contains inlet uh, valve for the steam or inlet passage whereas, outlet passage for the steam. Now, exactly uh, uh, the body there is one more uh, important part that is yoke and uh, which is connected with body may, by means of stud and nut. Uh, there is one uh, more important part uh, used here in that is the black colored gland. Uh, gland is provided to prevent the leakage of hot steam coming outside from the steam stop valve. And the central spindle uh, is uh, looking from the figure one end of spindle there is a valve and the valve is directly sits over the valve seats, whereas other end of spindle there is a hand wheel which is operated by boiler operator. So, this is what constructional detail. Now, suppose you require to open this steam top valve then uh, this hand wheel will be rotated in either direction. So, what happens due to rotation of hand wheel, uh, uh, the spindle will move in upward direction. So, as we know that uh, the valve is connected with uh, one end of spindle. So, along with spindle movement valve will also moving in upward direction. So, there is a large clearance, clearance difference between valve seat and valve. So, uh, from this passage high pressure steam will be moving from steam inlet to steam outlet and from steam outlet there is a steam turbine where it is feeding inside the turbine blade. So, this is what the working principle of steam stop valve. Look at the right hand side diagram, actually it is a 3D modeling of that steam stop valve. You can compare this uh, model uh, with uh, the diagram. There is a hand wheel stud, yoke is there, even body or cover is also provided, valve and valve seat is also uh, seen there. Uh, so, this is what about steam stop valve. Fourth and most important kind of the boiler mounting that uh, we will discuss that is lever safety valve. Actually, there are uh, three types of lever safety valve we are using in general purpose. One is a lever safety valve, other is a dead weight safety valve, a third one is the spring loaded safety valve and in some special cases high steam and low water safety valve is also used. Particularly in this lecture we will discuss on specially lever safety valve. But before it any lever safety valve, the function of lever safety valve is to remove or we can say that the exhaust or discharge 
excess amount of steam which is produced in boiler cell that means suppose uh, uh, you have uh, uh, any boiler and, uh, and the steam so produce is uh, uh, steam so produce having higher pressure than the material capacity of any uh, boiler uh, cell then it may have the chance to have an accident or explosion, uh, explosion. so that clearly uh, mean that uh, you should to discharge the exceed amount of steam inside the boiler cell so this function is, fulf is uh, fulfilled by uh, this type of safety valve. Uh, this is specially liver safety valve. Uh, look at the top uh, diagram that you are looking. There is one mounting block over here, and uh, this uh, mounting blocks inside which there is a valve seat. Over the valve seat, there is a black colored valve is sits over there. Now, uh, at the top uh, of the liver safety valve, there is horizontal one liver is provided one of uh, a liver end is directly pivoted with a fulcrum provided here whereas at the right hand side there is a dead weight uh, which is mounted at the end of right hand side of liver uh, now there is a one strut uh, is provided for the uh, support purpose of that liver and uh, between strut and fulcrum uh, there is a one link actually it is also known as a strut um, uh, one end of the strut is directly pin with the liver whereas at the other end of that strut there is a valve is fitted so here and uh, this is what an assembly of liver safety valve now looking uh, towards the working principle uh, suppose uh, uh, the mounting block is directly coupled here in like that this is boiler cell and mounting block is uh, exactly mounted on the top of the boiler cell uh, surfaces through flanges provided over here. Now suppose in some cases uh, steam whatever the steam produced inside the boiler or collected in boiler cell having the higher pressure than design pressure then it will move in upward direction directly. So due to high pressure of steam uh, it will pushes that valve in upward direction. So what happens? this valve will be lift up from the valve seat and it creates the passage little bit passage between valve and valve seat so uh, uh, as we know that at the outside or the atmosphere there is a low pressure whereas inside the mounting block where the there is a uh, high pressure steam is present there so due to this pressure difference uh, high pressure steam will move from mounting block to atmosphere directly after few periodic time uh, it will uh, the lever will be move in downward direction because of self weight and once again uh, valve will be seated over valve seat and in that way the steam uh, escaping out from the uh, lever safety valve will be closed but this is uh, this only happens when the inside boiler cell the steam pressure is equal uh, as compared to whatever the pressure uh, exerted by valve on downward direction by self weight W. This is uh, um, uh, this happens whenever the upward direction uh, uh, force acting by steam is equal in downward direction force acting by valve. So this is the working circuit and uh, contractional detail of uh, liver safety valve look at the bottom most diagram it is actually 3d model and the same parts you can see inside it and this is the uh, real uh, or the physical diagram or we can say that the real liver safety valve is given to you <coughs> now fifth uh, types of uh, boiler mountings that is the reciprocating feed pump actually uh, in uh, specially uh, medium pressure or we can say that the high pressure or critical or super critical boiler we need uh, uh, the large quantity of water especially in low pressure boiler water fits inside the boiler cell by uh, uh, gravitational force but especially in case of large capacity boiler where large amount of power required to be produced uh, in such a boiler, uh, the water need to pump by forcefully inside the boiler cell. So, uh, for the feeding of or we can say that the pumping of large quantity of water inside the boiler cell, uh, whatever the SS, uh, mounting are used that is 
feed pump uh, here in specially we have taken reciprocating feed pump for the uh, analysis purpose look at the top diagram actually it is the pair of uh, uh, two piston and cylinder left hand side known as a steam cylinder and piston whereas uh, right hand side is known as water piston and cylinder and both of the piston of either steam cylinder or we can say that the water cylinder are connected with a central connecting rod uh, now look at the left hand side of the steam cylinder there is two uh, uh, valve are providing in which uh, uh, by turn uh, a steam is uh, injecting inside and uh, uh, exhausting outside so uh, take an example of left hand side valve uh, steam is entering entered inside the, this valve and uh, on left hand side of that steam piston it will be forcing that piston to move in right hand side so as uh, the water cylinder or water piston is already connected with uh, the steam piston so uh, as steam piston moves from left to right simultaneously water cylinder will also move from left to right so uh, whatever the water resources connected with this water cylinder for example well or other lake uh, the, it will uh, create a low pressure on left hand side whereas high pressure on right hand side due to this movement so over here left hand side of that water piston there is a suction and uh, over here right hand side there is a compression so what happens due to suction or low pressure water will be lift up from the lake or river and uh, suck inside the left hand portion of water cylinder whereas uh, whatever the water already um, suckered before the first stroke or previous stroke water will be get compressed over here and it will be discharged directly through the piston uh, directly to the boiler so this is the first stroke in which uh, the uh, water cylinder gets suckered as well as get discharged water now similar thing can be happen in reverse stroke also uh, in order to have reverse stroke uh, this valve uh, will not supply uh, or stop the supply of steam in place of it uh, right hand side of this uh, steam cylinder whatever the valve is present it will supply steam and uh, by force pull it will try to move piston especially steam piston in right to left hand direction uh, due to high pressure whatever uh, the steam collected in previous stroke will be get exhausted through same valve uh, as we know that uh, there is a connection being made between uh, steam piston and uh, water piston so water piston will move from right to left again and same thing happens in previous case uh, this valve will be open over here there is a low pressure region over here there is a uh, high pressure region so water will be get lifted and sucked through uh, this valve and uh, over here due to water present uh, during last stroke it will be get compressed and it will be moved through exhaust valve and reach to boiler cell so this is what the forward and uh, backward working stroke of uh, uh, especially uh, steam uh, feeding pump uh, name given steam uh, feed pump because uh, uh, the working medium over here we are supplying energy uh, to pump by virtue of steam pressure and uh, it is operated by steam now uh, look at the below left hand side the figure there is a reciprocating pump uh, it, it works same as that of what the steam cylinder and piston works but here little bit difference is there in case of previous case uh, steam cylinder was operated by pressure of steam itself over here uh, piston reciprocated reci re is reciprocating to and fro motion with the help of an electric motor which is provided uh, uh, in a crankshaft so uh, once you rotate an electric motor crankshaft will be rotated ultimately uh, any uh, connecting rod will uh, an uh, become an oscillate and which uh, push force uh, to piston for the movement in either direction either forward or backward direction uh, all the characteristic either suction uh, happens in case of suction stroke and compression happens in case of compression stroke uh, this is the same kind of the working principle as that of the uh, simple uh, we can say that the steam uh, feed pump what works
uh, right hand side of that uh, reciprocating pump, there is one more type of uh, pump that we are using in a specially mo medium or high pressure boiler and this is this boiler is actually double acting uh, reciprocating pump we can say that uh, double acting that means uh, uh, the, on the both of the side of piston uh, uh, there may be happen or the, uh, both of the side of the piston suction and delivery suction and delivery in either case is uh, possible uh, by the uh, movement of a piston. Uh, this is the same case as what we have seen in case of a water cylinder present in steam feed pump. So this is what uh, the uh, reciprocating feed pump. Uh, dear student, uh, in this lecture we have discussed about uh, various uh, boiler mountings. Still you are finding difficulty, kindly ask to us. And one more thing, uh, kindly stay tuned, uh, tuned uh, with this lecture series. Uh, be happy and always connected with our video lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.